Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is The Face Histologist and welcome back to The Sims 3. In this video we're taking a look at the quest adventure chain that starts with Business Abroad, which, uh, which is a long chain with many varying missions. And it will allow your sim to access the Tomb of the Burning Sands, uh, and also the Ancient Library, so a bunch of different um, sections will be unlocked. So basically we're just going to go ahead and get it. The first one is just to report in. This might, this will also level up your visa to level 3. By the time you're done with it, at least I hope so. And now this will be the first one, the Tomb of Discovery, to find the missing briefing. So that is right down over here, the Tomb of Discovery. That is also your first official tomb that will sort of, you know, set you on your way. So you can actually go ahead and, you know, just be about it. I'll leave a link in the description with what exactly, with all of the thingamajigs that we'll be covering. That is all of the tombs and all of the sigils as we progress. So basically you can loot the Crescent Keystone from the chest that's here. This is basically meant to serve as an introduction to all of the varying mechanics that you will be able to find throughout the tombs. There are also a bunch of other hidden tombs that you should be aware of. But we'll cover those once the time comes. Uh, first of all, I just wanted to cover a bunch of adventures. Especially this one, because you want to get your visa to a, as, to a high level. As soon as possible, so you can stay even further. We're just going to pull this one, then stand on this one. And that will open up the door over here so we're just going to go through here and if we were to check the walls around here you can see that there's nothing and here is the Egyptian snake statue which is made out of gold and the missing briefing and we're just going to want to open this one up go ahead and collect the coins go ahead and open up this and you will get the Egyptian sigil of the tomb discovery there we go, we actually completed one, which is nice. Uh, there are a lot of them that you can complete, and of course, don't forget the treasures over here, which is basically 10 copper ignits, which is uh, this, well, basically this country's version of iron, more or less. It is very common. Then, what we're gonna want to do is just go ahead and go back and report to him, there we go, then we're just going to report to the other one Rams of the Sands, find four pieces of turquoise and deliver them to Ali Taimur okay, I butchered that name, I realized that okay, and basically at a certain point here they'll ask you to find uh, Mamatonium, which is a rare metal and it will be marked on your map, so Basically, we're just looking for a bunch of turquoise. Oh no, four turquoise gems. Is that what it says? Then turquoise most likely won't be marked on your map. Which is a bit of a pain, but... If you have the collection helper... This is where it will come in handy. See rocks and gems, then we just go like this. So, or we can actually just go ahead and buy them from the merchant. Oh no, that's just copper. Okay, yeah, that's a bit of a waste of time. Uh, the, the really embarrassing thing is I have a bunch of them back at base, back at home. So, if we check the merchant, the merchant doesn't have anything, perhaps she'll restock in midnight. If not, we are in a bit of a trouble because we'll need to manually find for uh, turquoises. And that's going to be a pain in the ass. So, let me see, perhaps I can just find them like this. So, collection helper is also pretty useful here. Yeah, that's alabaster. 
Ah, there we go. It actually does show up. So here we go. There is turquoise. Uh, the problem is it just hasn't showed up yet because probably none of the turquoise actually spawned. So that was most likely the problem. So you wait after midnight and they should spawn. So yeah, there you go. I was like, what the hell do I actually need cut gems? Which is a bit weird because usually it doesn't require cut gems. And let's actually just turn this one off. There you go, just to show you that it's showing even without the collection helper. I'll just need to find one more. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there was one there, one over here. Uh, ta -ta 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 -ta. There we go, here by the pyramid. There we go, so just teleport, bam, go ahead and deliver the gems. Okay, uh, that was a bit of a close call. I did get some other rare metals and some more copper, which I don't really mind. So we're just going to run, 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 run ahead. Then I'm just going to fly by the broom. And we're going to deliver the gems to him. Because Morko Kop with some Egyptians. Now this one is where you require a bit of charisma. To actually shakamuz with the locals. Uh, okay. And of course we're just going to go ahead and buy from them. Okay, this one hasn't reset yet. Okay, Tala Asphalt. Okay, this one should be now that Sana Mad Bull. Okay. Tala Asphalt, no. Yeah, she has grey hair. Tala Asphalt, there we go. Perhaps that's some form of hijab. I don't know. I don't want to pretend to know. Go ahead and ask. Or just, you know, spend some time chatting with them, building a relationship. And stuff like that. There we go. And now we're just going to go ahead and report in. And there we go. Now we're entering the Tomb of the Burning Sands. Okay, here we go, the Tomb of the Burning Sands, which is this pyramid over here. This will be the second sigil we'll actually be getting, I'm presuming, anyways. There we go. Okay, let's head on over here, clear this one out. Go ahead and clear that one out as well. ba -boom. Inspect this, okay. Go ahead and look inside here. Crescent Keystone, nice. Let's look inside this one as well. I love it when it lags sometimes, you know. Okay, there we go, we have some turquoise as well. There must be a hidden switch somewhere. Okay, so we'll be able to pull this one then. Pull it again, push. Push again. And again, and I believe I'll need to pull it one more time, then push it one more time, then push far. And that should unlock this door over here. There we go. Go ahead and open up this one, and there we go, five copper ignites. I mean, they do add up, so... I should probably disable NRAS because that is just going to drive me insane. But in any case, dropping down here. See, that one over there does require a crescent keystone. Which we got above and we got another one in here, so that's good. Going through this door, we do have Pango's Axe, we smash. As Kabir would say. Here is a sarcophagus of the king, which isn't really that important currently. Go ahead and explore this one. We dive in, that will actually lead us over here. Uh, 
Okay, which is basically sort of pointless, but hey, it's there for a reason. We're going to go ahead and inspect this wall. There must be a hidden switch. Okay, yeah, there most likely is. Let's go ahead and just loot everything that we can loot. Open up this one. There we go. Okay, and what sigil did we get here? We got the Tomb of the Rock. Okay, so I'm making cuts so I can quite possibly make timestamps in the future, but yeah. Uh, there we go, there's a the mummy. But with our martial arts skills and our athletic skill, we kick the mummy's ass. And the mummy... And the mummy will actually disappear and leave us the hell alone. Which is really good. Because then you can explore in peace. We came here for one tomb and I ended up doing another tomb. Which I guess sort of happens. But in any case, let us actually do the one that we came here for. There we go. And that is the... Keystone of Burning Sands. Go for the door. Hopefully the F is prepared. Okay, yeah, I am. Yeah, okay. Let's go ahead and explore this one. I see a lot of those users searching the area. Since another kind of fish kids was here. Okay, so basically nothing too special. We can disarm this. There we go. Then we can move on. I uh, remember, if you cannot disarm something, you can most likely just... Uh, attempt to cross it. If you cannot even cross it, then you're kind of screwed. Then you'll need to look for a workaround. But yeah, there we go. This one leads over here. So we're just going to go through the door, stand on this. That leads a hidden compartment over there. And let us actually use the stairs to head on down. There we go. We actually have some uh, flame fruits here. Which is nice. I wasn't expecting that. Okay, go ahead and push this one open. Okay, grab that chest, which is another sarcophagus piece. Okay, now we're just going to go ahead and push this one. Push it as far as we can. There we go. Go ahead and collect that one. Over here, we don't have anything. We collected that one flame fruit bush. Next up, we're just going to push this one as far as we can. Let's push it all the way. Yeah, there we go. That's perfect. Perfectly pushed, as they would say. Okay. Did you hear those uh, mummy sounds? Totally insane, right? There's a secret tunnel at the bottom of the well. Swim through the tunnel. Okay. Yeah, this one leads over here. But I haven't explored the rest of this over here yet, so... I'm just going to go back here. Clear out this rubble. Open this up. That is a dive well fragment, which is nice. Some ancient coins. Go ahead and stand on this. Okay, nice. And that actually leads me back. So now we can actually have us these things. Oh, he actually needed the flame fruit bush. The flame fruits. Okay, nice. Well, I mean, that's quite alright, but I kind of wanted to do the dungeon, and we will be doing the dungeon. So we're just going to go back here. And, okay, let's just pull this one by one. And let's just go pull far. There we go. Okay, I believe I can go here. No? Okay. That one, that one. Okay, no. 
Well, you know what I could do? I could take this one, push it through the traps, etc, etc, you know, make an effort that way. Or I could just Xenoport. That is also a valid strategy. Or I can just continue to pile through here. Yeah, re-examine, that one won't work. So, okay, we're just going to teleport back here. And I'm just going to go into Meditate. You should do Egypt last, just because you, you'll need to uh, actually master the martial arts. Or you could just use this one to push through the traps. But I am going to Xenoport. Now we wait, we wait. Tranquil transference. Okay, that's when you have the meditative, meditative focus. So we're just going to push this one pretty far. And we're going to push ones from here. That actually takes care of the trap. And we're just going to push far in this direction. There we go. Then we're just going to stand on this. Okay, then we're just going to explore this one. And that opens up this one over here. And that gives us another piece of the crafting thingamajig. Which is also nice. And here we actually have some more flame bushes. So we're just going to go ahead and harvest them because it's a good thing to have as many of them as you can as many of them as you can have. Because you can make uh, baked Alaska with it. I believe that's what it's called. And there we go. There is the sigil of the tomb of the burning sands. So now we're up three sigils. From this one adventure so far. That's the in insane thing about it. Let's go ahead and inspect this one. We also want to find some treasures. There we go. Go ahead and disarm it. Also, obviously, I don't think I should even mention this, but shower in a can, the best freaking thing you can get. Trust me on that one. That has saved my hide more than once. Swim through this tunnel. Okay, go ahead and stand on this. That will open up that door over there. I mean, we got the sigil, but we might as well explore the rest in order to get, you know, something. There we go, go for this one. There we go, 17 copper. And the stairs leading up. And I'm surprised there isn't a hidden door here or something. That is actually surprising, but yeah, basically here we are back at the beginning. Now, now I will be just going back like so. So in through this way, we're just going to teleport back here and go through this door. Use these stairs over here. Okay, bam, bam, bam. Okay, go ahead and clear that one out. Kaboom. Open. Okay, it's a Marquois cut turquoise. Okay, nice, we actually got one more. I'm surprised that there isn't a secret door. There were way too few hidden doors here. In all honesty, we still have this one area over here to explore. I'm going to do exactly that. Okay, see, this is what I mean. Uh, we actually got set on fire. Go ahead and use the shower in a can. There we go. And we're just going to disarm it. There we go. Go ahead and explore this one. Okay. Go ahead and clear this one out. Open. Yeah, that's a bunch of money. Money is always good. Go ahead and bam. Nice. Some ancient coins. And we're just going to use Pango's axe to smash. Go ahead and open up this one, another sarcophagus piece, which isn't bad by itself either, but it, it, it could have been, you know, some of the other 
relic collections, but we got the tomb sigil, so that's alright. Leave them be and deliver the flame fruit. And there's like what, 13, 14 pieces of these. Okay, and I love it when it lags. Yeah, 13 of them we already did free. Ask about ancient book. We're just going to go ahead and ask about the ancient book. Let's go ahead and follow up with that. Of course, uh, Amen Musa. So we're just going to go ahead and find Amen Musa here and we're just going to get friendly with him real quick. Okay, Amen Musa, there we go. Ask about the ancient book. And now we're going to the ancient library. Which is right on over here. Okay, uh, yeah, let us actually go ahead and... It is too late to visit anybody right now. Okay, let's go ahead and visit the household. Oh! We're best friends with this one. That's good. Okay. And basically we're just going to head on over here. Go ahead and inspect this. Use the stairs. This is the hidden library thing. There we go. Go ahead and stand on this. And ras and ras. No, no Enras. Go through the door. Okay, stand on this one. Then we go through this one. Over here we'll need to pull this. Pull it once. Go behind it. Push far. That unlocks this one over here. We're just going to go through it. Okay, we go ahead and pull this one. Push it far. That one will unlock this one. We'll go through this one. Okay, we'll use the stairs to go down. And let's see what we can actually find here. Not much, in all honesty. There we go, there's the sigil of the ancient library. Let's go ahead and load this one. This is the Saga of the Free Relics. The ancient book that we needed. Then what we're going to do is just teleport over here. Pull this one. Then we're just going to push this one all the way through. That will unlock this one over here. We go through that one. We stand on this one. That unlocks that door over there. So now we're basically just... Go ahead and pull this one very far. Push it. Bam, that will unlock this door again. And we'll be able to go through here. And over here we open up this chest and we get uh, a fossilized watermelon. Egyptian style. And there we go, there's it for this one. Okay, let's go ahead and deliver the ancient book. And now we need to talk to Helmi Hosni, which is the first relic, and since it's a book about three relics, there'll be two more relics. So let's go ahead and ask about the first relic. Let's see if he's feeling generous. Of course not, I'm gonna have to get friendly with him. Okay. So he is uh, Helmi Hosni. Helmi Hosni? Bashir, Fahrid, Fahad, Elliot, St. James, okay. Altemur, Helmi, Hosni, there we go. Raise to copper, bring five hunks of copper. Okay, we already have the copper, obviously. The most collected item in all of Egypt. Let's get the alabaster, the turquoise, the geode, the gold. 
And let's get the canopic jars. Perhaps one of them belongs to that other thing. I don't know. Nice, they are more valuable indeed. Okay, that's good. On the side, though, deliver the relic. Okay, let's go ahead and deliver the relic to him. Preparing the bride. Collect two pieces of mamatonium. Now, mamatonium is a rare metal, which can be found only in Egypt and in trash cans in your base neighborhood. So. Alright, I will need to collect a bunch of mamatonium. Um, I'm not seeing any. Perhaps it didn't spawn. That happens sometimes as well. Yeah, perhaps it'll spawn soon enough. But yeah, basically we're just going to be scanning it like this until we find some. Okay, I got lucky there are two mamatoniums over here in, uh, at the store. But other than that, none of them seem to have spawned for me around, but they'll probably spawn for you. If not, uh, you'll have to get lucky and buy them from the store, like I just did. Okay, HQ infiltration, deposit the package in the computer room chest at Morbu Corp HQ. Okay, this will be another one. Um, which is over here. Let me just check if I'm recording. I am good. Okay, right. We're going to the Morbo Corp HQ. There we go, and before we do that, we'll need to go through the door here. Because this is an adventure, after all, on somebody's property. Which is the best kind of adventure, you know, it's border it borders on illegal. Yeah, that door is uh, locked. We have this one. We'll attempt to disarm it. Keep in mind, if you cannot disarm it, you'll have to cross it. There we go. I can try multiple times. Uh, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. If it works, even better. Okay. Why can't I... Okay, go ahead and pull it once. Push. Pull this one far. There we go. Pull it once. Then pull it again. Okay. Right, I do believe that there's some sort of time limit to this one since it is technically somebody's property, you know? But for now, there doesn't seem to be any hidden doors. I'll have to disarm this one. The more of them you disarm, the better you'll be at disarming them. Unless you get electrocuted like that. Okay, but it doesn't matter, we do have a shower in a can. So we can just go ahead and shower it up, fix it up, it's all good. We can go through this door right on over here. Okay, open it up. Nice, with some nectars. Oh man, the amount of nectar I keep getting is insane. There we go, a crescent keystone. And another sarcophagi thingamajig. Let's insert this keystone here. Standing on this one. See, those ones don't actually register, and of course they're not going to actually register because... You open them either way, they're not really secret. Let's go through this door. Surprisingly, I haven't triggered a trap. <coughs> Which is a bit unusual, in all honesty. Yep, there we go. 
Let's stand on this one as well. This is way too much work for a secret underground base. But I kinda respect the hustle in all honesty. There we go, that's the legendary criminal headquarters. Egyptian sigil of the criminal headquarters, there we go. So that's another one that we have finished. And in here we'll actually need to deposit this. There we go. Then next up is to actually hack. I believe the hack will always be successful. Yeah, there we go. The hack is a laptop. Let's actually just go ahead and hack it. I am a computer viz, I do have high logic skills, so that's all good. Nice. Thanks for sending the information. Doom of the Desert Ocean, okay, so that's another one we'll be visiting. So keep that in mind. With this adventure, we're getting lots of sigils. So the next one is the Tomb of the Desert Ocean. Which is... Uh, do I ha even have enough time for it? I should. And I don't mean video time, I mean the actual time. Okay, yeah, here it is. Okay. Okay, here we are at the Tomb of the Desert Ocean, which is another one of these. That we got from a single adventure. And which I'm actually covering in a single video. So there's that as well. Now this one is all about uh, swimming, getting wet and stuff like that. It's the ocean, you know. Here we have the Heart of the Water Temple. We do not have that. We do have this one. So we're just going to go ahead and take the Star Keystone. And over here we need to find the Relic of Life. And we will find that. We'll probably be returning here. But yeah, you can just go at it like that. Then you can go ahead and just insert the keystone over here. Yeah, there we go. You can just swim on through. It's amazing. Okay, there we go. That was a waste of... Uh, that was a waste of a keystone, but... It is what it is. This one requires a special key. Over here we can just swim on through. And just go on through as well. Let's go ahead and inspect this one. It must be visible only toward the adventurers. Or perhaps only to idiots, you know, it it all really depends on your viewpoint. Go ahead and collect that one. Okay, now we're just going to go ahead and over here. Obviously there are no hidden doors over there. Possibly over here, but as you can see, no. We're going through this door, so there is no need to use uh, the Star Keystone to unlock this. Because it would be quite literally a waste of time. But, over here, if we inspect this, there is a trap. And we're just going to disarm it. It's probably a water trap, so let's actually try to cross it. There we go. Yeah, this looks like it would house a hidden door or something, but I guess not. Let's go through it. Sometimes you just cannot disarm the traps and it's really no, not that much of a big of a deal. In all honesty, as you might make it out to be. So there we go. We're just gonna pull it once like this and we're gonna push it once like that. Okay, we're going to do the same for this one. We're just going to pull it. There we go. Push it once as well. And the reason why we did that is so we don't get actually trapped. There we go. Just like that. Let's actually head on through this door. And this will lead us further over there. But what I do actually want to do is just stand on this. And that will lead me to this. A smaller side here, which I can finish exploring. 
So let's actually go ahead and open up this. More money bags. Okay, there's nothing over here. We have that one star keystone from earlier. We're just going to go ahead and use it to collect a bunch of these ancient coins. Go ahead and open up this chest. More sarcophagus die fragments. And stuff like that, so basically nothing really of importance. Over here, if we take a look, there'll be this one trap over here. Which we're going to attempt to cross. There we go. Go ahead and inspect this. That will open up all the way over here. So we're just going to go ahead and collect this one and this one. Over here, there really shouldn't be anything else. Let's go ahead and inspect this one. Okay. Okay, I'm guessing that one kind of bugged out. Oh, nice canopic jars, which is perfect. Or perhaps it didn't open because, yeah, I didn't do that one. Okay, yeah, makes sense. But we did find the hidden door, so it's all good in the end. Okay. Let's actually push this one once. Inspect this. Okay, nice, that's a money bag. Let's pull this one by one. Okay, go ahead and stand on this one. Okay, that just disables the traps, which is good. And yeah, there isn't anything else we can do here. Go ahead and swim through the tunnel. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Next up, we're just going to want to clear out the rubble here. Then this one over here. Okay, then we're just going to want to push this one all the way over there and we're gonna pull this one as far as we can like that go ahead and push it okay if i had to take a guess i would say that this one over here will open up the door just a wild guess and of course nothing without lags I did alt tab like 10,000 times, so probably because of that. But in any case, here we go. Go ahead and open it. Nice and additional room with loot, but no collections. Which is a shame, which is a shame, but yeah. In any case, go ahead and push it towards the original position. Then we can go ahead and just inspect this one over here. Okay, and that actually leads us out, which is nice. Go ahead and use the stairs to head on down, and now we are down here. Like this one, then we're just going to inspect this one over here. Because obviously there was a hidden door there. I mean, it's so obvious. Okay. Nothing in here besides that fragment, which is okay, I guess. Go ahead and collect this one. Bam. Nothing of note here. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Okay, nice. Well, I mean, there's practically nothing in here, but okay. Go ahead and collect that one, that one, that one. Okay, good. Smash, smash. Smash. Yeah, there's probably yeah, they're the hidden doors. I mean obviously. Yeah, that's just a money bag. Yeah, more money money. Just a bunch of money money. Money is all well and good, but I got a collections that I need to complete and there we go. Amit, dangerous creature collection. That one is finished. Which is perfect. Let's go ahead and stand on this one. Yeah, that unlocks this one over here. 
Nice, that uh, actually gives us more gems. And we're just going to head on down here. I'll try to make the timestamps. If I fail to do that, please remind me in the comments. Uh, because this will be a relatively long video. If I'm not mistaken, about an hour long. But this will actually cover almost half of all of the tombs in... What do you call it? In Egypt, so... Ah, ra -ta 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 -ta. Okay. Go ahead and use the shower in a can. You're good as new. Okay, you're scared. Don't be scared. Nice. There we go. Okay, nice. So that this actually leads into the void. I like it when things le lead into the void. Uh, the void is nice, you know. You you, you know it's uh, it's the void. Let's push it once. Nice. Stand on it. Okay, yeah, that disables the traps logically. I should have seen that one coming. To be fair. I am quite the idiot, but it is what it is. Push it once. Stand on it. Inspect. Nice, we got something. Smash it. Go through. Okay. Nothing of note here. Uh, that is why I told you to go to China first. Ah, there we go another jar you should always head to China first then to France then to Egypt that's kind of the natural order of the adventures Egypt last because Egypt is the most expensive out of all of the other adventures it is the most demanding China is a good uh, mediary and you need it in order to actually complete Pango's Axe. Because Pango's Axe is something that you really do need. As you saw, I was able to smash a bunch of boulders. And clearing out rubble is a piece of cake as well. So there's also that. Okay, hopefully I'll be able to get the visa level 3 before my stay here expires. But yeah. Okay, uh, let's see with this one. Uh, yeah, this one I cannot use. <laughs> nothing over there. Nothing over here. Okay, uh, there are bound to be a bunch of traps here. So let's just head and sit on over here like this. Okay, that is the key to the heart of the water temple. So we're just going to get it like that. We did loot that one. That did trigger a bunch of traps here, but we'll be able to head on through here. And of course we're going to inspect this one. Collect this one over here. That is a fire hydrant. Uh, which is... Kind of funny. It's exactly in the same style. I mean... It's incredibly stupid, but it's funny. Yeah, a bunch of water fountains. What's in here? A sarcophagus piece. Okay, go ahead and use the stairs. Ba boom. Stand on this one. Yep, and that will actually lead you back here. And now you can swim towards here, the heart of the temple. Go through this one. Of course, immediately over here. Go ahead and inspect it. That one is actually incredibly obvious and ah nice we actually have Anubis we have some other Egyptian relics I'll have to sort through all of that in any case yeah you can go here like so just ba -ba -bum, swim uh, go ahead and open up this one okay we're going to pull this one as far as we can 
Okay, if we push it, what if I pull this one? Aha, uh -huh, so it's like that. Okay, but if I pull this one as well, what happens then? Okay. Oh, uh, I understand. You're freaking retarded. Th that's it. Okay. Let's push this one in. Then what we're going to want to do is just meditate. So just go like this. Meditate. And we're just going to wait to get the tranquil buff over here. There we go. Tranquil transference. There we go, inspect it. Nice, a money bag, let's stand on it. And that will get us nothing. So we're just going to... Actually, we're just going to want to push this one back. You never know, it might actually do something entirely else. We don't want to uh, actually drink it. Let's actually go through this door. And there we go, we completed the legendary Tomb of the Desert Ocean. Death flower bush, okay, life plant. Nice, okay. Let's just go right ahead and grab what we need, the Relic of Life. Let's actually open up this one. This gives us the Topaz. If we go over here, we get the Sigil of the Tomb of the Desert Ocean. Which is like holy bajeebus, we got a lot of it, and if we actually head on over here, we're just going to inspect it. Here is the money tree. So we're just going to want to collect it. There we go, and we're going to want to harvest the money tree as well. I should actually try to plant some money trees. In my own garden, that would be nice. Any case, next up, we're just going to want to inspect this one over here. This will have like a random treasure, so now essentially we're just going to go ahead and inspect this one over here. There we go, go ahead and clear that one out. Okay, nice. So now we've completed almost half of the tombs in Egypt that can be completed, by the way. Yeah, I do see that snake. And, yep, that's another canopic jar. And I actually completed that one, which is amazing. Okay, so let us actually just go ahead and deliver the relic then. Oh, whoa, whoa, hold on. We haven't actually looted this one. Nice. Okay. Yeah, there is some money over here. This one will open up, so we will need to push this one. Okay, so this is where you would Xenoport, over here. And if we're just going to want to pull it again, then Xenoport over here. Or over here, however you prefer. Then just push it. And over here, what do we have? We Let's just use the Harvester. Because I don't see what is in here. Probably nothing. I'll look inside here. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay. Let's actually go ahead and deliver the relic and hopefully get to visa level 3. Okay. 
Okay, here we are back in Egypt. I am level 3. I just purchased all that I wanted from the special merchant. They were serving our shawarma. Okay, and in order to get a serving of shawarma, we will go to the cook that's in the bazaar. Just go ahead and teleport here. And we're just going to wait. Uh, buy food. Shawarma. Na, na, na. Pineapple, pizza, popcorn, ramen. Really? You don't have shawarma? Uh, donuts, pizza, cheese, onion slice, uh, nachos. There we go. Shawarma. Deliver the shawarma. There we go. And the first relic is the relic of eternity. Which is in this one. Which I believe is the seventh tomb we will be going to which is cr freaking insane I need to mark this one as well okay we can see that many before us have tried and many have failed but they do not have our determination so we're just going to go through here okay as you can see we're just going to push this one once that will open up all of that, which is nice. And if we push this one once, that will trigger that. And if we open up that, that will give us some quality dried food. If that makes any sense. Okay, of course, we cannot clear the rubble from here. We actually have to go through there. So we're just going to go ahead and collect this. Okay, we have some more food. Let's actually go ahead and go through the door. And collect that one as well. That is a relic. Why should I leave it behind? For somebody else to collect when I can collect it. I mean, come on. There is a star keystone over there. But I have a bunch of skeletal keystones, so I'm going to use those. Since I did purchase them after all, but in any case, we're just going to go ahead and inspect this wall. This wall will open up all the way to over here. And over there, as you can see, is another star keystone. But we're just going to go ahead and inspect it. Might as well take it, you know. Just kabam. Go ahead and take this one. Okay, liquid showers. Make sure you have those. There is shower in a can, my bad. Okay, that one will actually turn that one off, and we can actually go back here. And now we have two additional uh, star keystones. And over here, if you take a look, there is this hidden door. But before that, we're just going to go ahead and collect this loot over here. Go ahead and open up that. That will give us a vase of some sorts. And over here, we're just going to inspect. That disables all of the traps over there, which is good. Ah, okay, uh, let's actually continue. Go ahead and collect that. Bam. Bam. Collect this one. Bam. Okay. There is a hidden one over there, and of course, uh, zombies are gonna zombie. Let's go ahead and clear that one out. Bam! Look inside. Okay, I'm not really afraid of the mummies, you know. On the relic worth 1000. Okay, go ahead and open up that one. Okay, so apparently no mummy wants to mess with me. I cannot really blame the mummy. I am built like a freaking truck, so... Can't really fault them for that one. This is a French one. Let's open it up anyways. Okay, remains, remains, remains. We're going to go over here. Okay, nothing can be done there. We can expect this one. 
that opens up to some money. Money is always good. Go ahead and bam that one. Over here, bam that one. And of course, we're just going to pull this one very, very far. Okay. There we go, that opens up the staircase there. Which is good. Let us actually head on back over here. Okay. Okay, weird enough that this isn't a secret door, which I find incredibly weird in itself. Of course, you gotta have some lag. Nothing without some good quality lag. Okay, and I did spend a lot of ancient coins, so whatever ancient coins I get is just pure bonus. In all honesty, since I won't be spending them on pretty much anything else. Let's go ahead and inspect this one. Okay, go ahead and disarm it. If we cannot disarm it, we'll attempt to cross it. If we cannot cross it, then we'll send a port. There we go. Same story with this one. There we go. Of course, they all have uh, something they trigger, but there is a treasure in each one of them, so it pays off to actually loot it. As you can see, I just collected something. There we go. You, you either get a relic or something along those lines, so it is well worth it to trigger every trap in order to get it, at least in my opinion. Of course, a pink flamingo, that's very Egyptian. Okay, yeah, we have those tombs. Yeah, pretty much nothing else of note in this one, so we're just going to go through. Okay. Now this one is massive. Let me go ahead and collect this one. Okay, so yeah, that one, that one, that one. Okay, we're just going to check for hidden doors. Uh, there are no hidden doors over here. Daga, 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 daga. Yep, no hidden doors over here, unfortunately. But what we can do is go over here and pull this one. Pull it again. Okay, then we're just going to push it as far as we can. Then pull it as far as we can. Then right about here. Yep. We're going to push it as far as we can. Okay, there we go. And we're going to pull this one as far as we can. Stop it. Okay, yeah, I guess I cannot because of the fire, but still. I can go like this. Okay, I can just go like this then. Ain't nobody gonna slow me down. Bam, bam, bam. Go ahead and stand on this one. And that unlocks that one over there. We already checked. There are no hidden doors. But perhaps... Right, I cannot even light those up. So let's actually go ahead and go through this door. Clear out the rubble here. Bam. Of course, that leads somewhere else. This over here is a hidden door which we can interact with. Okay, go ahead and collect it. Another star keystone. Pay attention. Uh, you'll be getting a lot of star keystones. I have no idea why exactly, but you generally do get a lot of them. Even though I have plenty of uh, the regular ones, there is the skeletal keystones. I kind of prefer the skeletal keystones because just 
They're just better. Okay, hold on. Go ahead and clear out that rubble. Okay, what was the point of that side passage? Who the hell knows? Aha, uh -huh. so that was the point of it. Okay, hold on. Okay, up, up. Go ahead and use this one again. Disarm it. Okay, inspect. Okay, nice. Disarm it. I prefer disarming traps. Are you fucking kidding me? Go ahead and disarm it. What are you scared of? You have nothing to lose, basically. Okay, disarm. Okay, we were so close to disarming it. There we go. Uh, can I change outfit? I don't want to be like a freaking idiot. There we go. Go through the door. Stand on it. There we go. Nice. Okay, go ahead and clear out the rubble in here. I drop a stone, which is of no value to me since I have completed the collection. Uh, but yeah, you can just, you know, hang out in my collection overall. Okay, nice. A bunch of ancient coins. That's always good. Are those aliens? What do you mean no interaction available? You got them. Look at this lag, dude. This is insane. Okay, there we go. Let's go ahead and inspect this one over here. Since it is a hidden door, it must contain something valuable. If we can get through the lag, that is. Okay, here we go. Now it should be... Yep, it's definitely less laggy now. There's almost no lag at all. Okay, so I'll need to push this one all the way through, like that. Then we're going to have to pull it once. Then we're going to have to go behind it, push it, then pull it once. Then pull it again. Then we're just going to go ahead and pull it once more. Once more. Then we're just going to go ahead and push it like that. That'll open up this door and that will also open up this door over here. Which I prefer. Okay, we're just going to go ahead and collect that one. But before we actually proceed down there, there is still the matter of this area over here. We haven't explored it yet. So we're just going to go ahead and do that now. Go through this door. Okay, obviously you have to flush it. Yeah, that's, that's always a mechanism in these adventures. I have no idea why. I guess they found it funny. I don't know. I'm not in the mind of a developer. Why did you run back, though? Yeah, you can teleport over here. That is Xenoport without any problems, so... That's not really much of a problem. Okay, there we go. Now it's lagging again. Which is good, I would prefer it. It would just be weird if it worked smoothly and the way it was supposed to. Okay, right. We cannot do anything here just yet. So if we were to... There we go, there's the lag. Seems 3 is uh, notorious for lagging. I don't know why, but it, it is just the way it is. 
All right, this is uh, the actual exit. I think I might have jumped the gun a little bit. There we go. It requires the lodestone keystone, but we can actually collect this and clear out the rubble. Which is also something. And we can go through this door over here. Which does require a boulder. To be smashed. And we did that. And now if we head through here. Okay. Yeah, it's just a random thing. I'm a jerk. Nothing special. Go ahead and pull this one. Pull this one. Okay, you know what? I can push this one like that. I can push this one as far as that. And we can just pull this one like this. There we go. Go ahead and clear this one out. Kaboom. Look inside. Let's see if we can find something. Canopic jars. I completed that collection, so that doesn't mean anything to me. Go ahead and clear this one out. Kaboom. Yeah, nothing of note in that one. We can actually use the stairs to head on up. There is one money bag down here. So yeah, there we go. And let's actually go ahead and inspect this one. There we go. And that leads on over there. Yeah, over here to the left, no shot. That is to the right. Okay, yeah, nothing of note in here. Let's go ahead and open up this one. Yeah, and there's the Death Tomb Depths Keystone. Let's actually go ahead and push this one. Push it again, open up this one. Egyptian Horus of the Sky, nice. Let's actually fight the mummy, because why not? There you go. Go ahead and look inside. I have no idea which mummy that I've defeated that uh, this one is, but... Yeah, we can go like this, but now we cannot access the chest. So, what we're going to want to do is just pull this one as far as we can, then just go ahead and open up this one, kaboom then we're just going to push this one out of the way uh, just like that, then we can just teleport over here just like that, and yeah that's basically it for that upper portion now we're just going to want to head on down down right no, over here, wait Oh my lord, I'm so confused. Okay, I haven't been here yet. This isn't in the picture. Yeah, this one requires the lodestone keystone. Although I could cheese it and teleport down there. I did collect all of this. So I do need to go down. Right, this is the one. Exit as fall. Okay. I did collect all of this. I did go past all of that. Yep. Over here, this requires the Earth Core Keystone. So I cannot do Jack Diddly Squat here. I could go through that door, but I do believe I was actually over here. Right, and over here requires the Earth Core Keystone. So yeah, I have to go over here. Going through this one. Go ahead and inspect it. Okay, go ahead and look inside. Nice, go ahead and collect that vase. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay, so we just completely avoid that one then, right? Okay. Go ahead and clear it, then go through the door. This one, ah, yeah, this one requires the, oh. Uh, I did not collect the Earth Core Keystone. I probably used uh, a skeletal key. 
Which I don't mind if we're just going to, you know, get rid of all of the traps. Aha, there we go, there's the lodestone key. That one, Dev's keystone. Okay, yeah, that one makes sense. Let's pull this one like that. And that actually leads us over here. Let's actually use the stairs. Yeah, okay, that will bring us right over here. Then we use the this one and over here the lodestone keystone that we acquired will lead us over here and that this will give us the death tomb keystone which will allow us to access the door that's down there hopefully that, that this is all making sense to you but it's fairly simple okay go ahead and collect it let's look inside here let's go ahead and push this one by one we can inspect it over here. Okay, let's actually head in through the middle here. Okay, we have some Chinese influences over here. Which is weird to find it in Egypt, but okay. It's weird to me anyways, I could be totally wrong. Okay, right, we can inspect this one. That will open up the door to over here. Kaboom. And that lead, that is another hidden door, which leads over here. We can excavate the relics, which is nice. Who knows what we will actually find in there? But yeah, we're discovering a bunch of relics just all around, which is nice. Uh, let's actually cash in this money. Yeah, that's 5k simoleons. Uh, let's actually push this one. Yeah, there we go. That leads to that. 25 year old cherries nectar worth 764. Could it still be good? You goddamn bet your sweet patootie it's still good. Okay, look inside here. Collect this loot. Oh, nice. It's actually some silver. Okay, so all of this has been looted. All of this as well. Now if we head on down once, twice. Yeah, back over here basically. Now let's just insert the keystone. Kaboom. That leads us over here. Let's actually go ahead and disarm this one. Okay, attempt to cross it. Stand on it. Okay, that opens up that one. Okay. If we were to take a look at the sides, I am recording. Good. Uh, Timestamps in the description, like I said. I will need to do. Timestamps, since this is going to be a gigantic video overall. Yep, there we go. Uh, 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 uh. Let's go ahead and inspect this one. Okay, that actually leads to an entire section in itself. Okay, and go ahead and clear out that rubble over there. This rubble will lead to another mummy or something. Mm -hmm. More money, more problems. It's actually more money, less problems. If you're smart enough. If you're not, then it is more money, more problems. Okay, so that side, done. Okay, I did notice that there was this one over here. We're just going to go ahead and inspect it. And we're just going to pull it once, because it didn't notice that. Okay, that basically didn't do anything, but okay. We're just going to push this one by once, inspect it. 
Okay. I'm not buying it. Oh, there's quite literally nothing over here. Okay, so... I guess I wasn't wrong. It's good when you're not wrong. Let's clear this one out. Okay, clear it out again. There we go, that's the Den of Lost Souls. Den of Lost Souls. God damn. Okay, yeah, so that's another one. That's seven in this one. Which is just amazing, in all honesty. We still haven't completed the adventure yet, by the way. There are still more trains to it. Why do I care if he died? If he was responsible enough to... basically do it to himself, then that's his problem. Right, as you might have noticed, you have a way of actually dealing with the mummies if you don't want to fight them. I did deal with one, the rest of it is not really that uh, that important. Okay, there is the Relic of Eternity and we have the Sarcophagus thingamajig. Okay, let's go ahead and look inside this one and this one and this one. I kind of want to get cursed by a mummy, but that's not going to happen, uh, simply because I am too powerful. Okay. Okay, nicely done. And that's basically it for this one. Now we're just going to go and uh, deliver the relic. And there we go, that's it for this entire thing. <laughs>